Hello guys, in this video we will look at how to sort results when using a GET request that returns a list. In our API project that will be GET v1 travels and GET v1 tours endpoints. Let's get started. As usual, we're going to update OpenAPI document to include sort by query parameter in GET v1 travels and GET v1 tours. We will use query parameter sort underscore by equals property hyphen ascending or descending format. In get v1 travels route, we include parameter named sort by in query. This parameter is type of string and is not required. In the description, we give an example of parameter number of days hyphen ascending. Let's scroll down to get v1 towards. And in here, we have the same parameter sort by and the example will be price hyphen ascending. Let's update the code to handle sort by query parameter. So we go to the routes, travels and controllers. We need to update list travels method in travels controller to include sort by option in options passed to repository get all method. Sort by is assigned the value of rec.query.sort uh, by. Let's also go to tours controller. We update list tours method in tours controller to include the same option sort by. Pass to repositories get all method. Now let's go to base repository class and update it to handle sort by options parameter. First in base repository.cs file add protected class property called allowed sort by fields. This property is assigned a default value of an array with a created add as a string member. When a user attempts to sort results, the API can't allow them to use any field they want for two reasons. The first one is obvious. A user may try to sort results by a field that doesn't exist in the database. The second reason is that even if a user attempts to sort by a field that exists in the database, this field may not be indexed in the database and the operation will take a long time. For example, sorting by description field. Now let's take a look at get all method in base repository. We get order by from options that sort by using base repositories get order by method. Then we remove sort by from the options and add order by as order property on the options object. SQLize require this property to order the returned results. Finally, we pass options to SQLize's find all method. Now let's take a look at base repositories get order by method. It's a protected method that generates order property for SQLize options object. It takes sort by parameter that can be either string or undefined and returns an array of tuples. First, a default value of array with tuple created at descending is assigned to order by constant. The default value is returned in three cases. First, if there is no sort by, sort by is undefined. Second, if the first part of the sort by is not in the allowed sort by fields. Third, if second part of sort by is either missing or not ascending or descending. If none of the previous conditions match, the array of tuples is returned where the first part of the tuple is the field parsed from sort by and the second part is a direction ascending or descending. Finally, let's go to travel repository and add protected property allowed sort by fields. As you can see, we can sort travels by name, number of days, created at and updated at. Let's add the same protected property to tour repository. We can sort tours by name, price, starting date, and ending date. That's it for the code. Let's spin up the dev server by running yarn dev. Don't forget to seed your database with the test travels and tours. We covered how to do that in SQLize Seeders video. Let's go to Open API and click on the UI. Let's start by sorting travels first and click try it out. And we're going to sort by hello there. Okay, we click execute. Obviously, it's not valid. So we're going to get return 
travels in created at descending order. So the code will ignore hello there sorting parameter. Now let's go ahead and put number of days sending. And we click execute. And we can see the travels are sorted by number of days in ascending order. We have two. Scroll down, we still have two. And now we started getting three and so on. Finally, let's go to get tours endpoint and make sure sorting works there as well. In the sort by field, we're going to put price descending and click execute. And the API will give us the result by descending price. We still have 50, 49, 80, 49, and 48, and so on. And there you have it. We created code to sort results returned from the API list endpoints, v1 travels and v1 tours. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.